In this video, I'll show you how to turn sand into iron. The black sand was collected from a beach on the Danish west coast. Because the magnetite content of the sand found on the beach was too low for iron extraction, it needed to be sorted. First the sand was dried in the sun, then sorted using a strong magnet. This is the raw sand before it was sorted, containing quartz and other minerals. After sorting the sand, it is almost pure magnetite. A lot of charcoal is necessary for the force melts we will be doing. The charcoal is too big as is, so it needs to be crushed into smaller pieces. This is my friend Adam evening out the soil for the oven to be built upon. The gaps between the bricks are filled up with old soil and clay to seal the oven. The following layers are mortared with red clay. The cover tree air is inserted at a slight downwards angle. This is used as an air inlet, providing oxygen for the burning charcoal. This is a little smog oil. I'm so tired of it. It's almost a bit of architecture. Yeah, almost. The next day the oven is preheated for an hour with wood and leftover sawdust. The oven is continuously loaded with equal amounts of charcoal and bog oil from last year's smoke. This is continued for several hours. Slag is tapped multiple times as the smelt is progressing.
The oven was constructed with a plinth to make the extraction of the bloom less difficult and making it possible to save the oven for the next smelt. One day we got company by interested friends. The bloom was slightly compacted and knocked down into the birthing chamber. The bloom was compacted further into a solid piece of iron. After cooling, the bloom was cut open to see the result. <laughs> the bogo was not of the greatest quality, but produced a decent bloom. The next day we used the black sand following the same procedure. The yield is quite higher than expected and produced a 30 kg bloom from 70 kg of all. The size of the bloom makes the extraction difficult. Here is the final result, a solid bloom ready to be used in future projects.